Today I'm speaking with Dave, aka Big Box Dave, also known as MDG Attitude on YouTube. He does some of the most creative unboxings and has a wicked sense of humor. He's been a massive contributor to the channel, and I'm thrilled to talk about magic, traveling, and different formats. It's coming up next. Welcome back, everyone, to another Mattcast. I am joined today with a friend of the channel, Dave, who is also known as Big Box Dave and MTG Attitude on YouTube. How's it going, Dave? Doing well, Matt. How about yourself, brother? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Awesome. <laughs> so I actually just finished uh, doing my, well, I just finished filming my uh, flea market, uh, I guess, storage <laughs> unit random buy that you sent me. So I thought that was a funny way to start. Uh, although this video is going to be released uh, further down the line than that video, but I'm sure everyone's going to, who has already seen that video probably. Yep. But uh, So how did you actually come across the storage unit? So uh, it, it wasn't, a, it wasn't me per se. It was, uh, so it was at a flea market. Uh, there's a vendor that, well, somebody that, that sells wares there at the flea market, but he uh, also um, buys storage units, you know, that, that were abandoned. He bids on them. Mm. Goes in there with cash straight up and he buys them. This person contacts one of my buddy's wives and we, she has first dibs on any magic product or any baseball cards or anything of that nature that are in there. And wow. uh, I, at some point I will send you a picture. He just had, it was up to my shoulders, uh, a dolly full of cards, sports cards, magic cards, Pokemon, all that stuff. And I just went through as much as I could. And I, I, I found any, anything I could find, like old cards. You could tell wow. the old ones wow. who it was. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I, I'm like, how much are these a sleeve? He's like $40. I'm like, okay. And I, I, I bought eight of them. He didn't, you know, he only charged me like 800 <laughs> I got 300 out of them. So he, he took 20 bucks off. So, but it wasn't bad. Um, but he, you know, as soon as I find out about these going forward, I'm going to grab up as many as I can. I will most certainly share them out with you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, well, based uh, on the two openings that I saw, you definitely made all your money back if you spent 300 oh, yeah. on them. So that's good at, at least. Uh, yeah. Mine, on the other hand, that was rough. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't seen it yet, but you will after this, uh, after this discussion. So it was really weird because as I was going through the box, because, you know, mind you, I just watched your other video, I think two days before, and that was a really, uh, the good box. So when I, when I went through it, so for the first stack, it was, I think I saw like some journey into next stuff. And I was like, huh, journey into next. That's, it's interesting. Journey into next. Why is that there? But let's go through. So I just kept yeah. going through each card. And then slowly it became more and more apparent that I was like, oh boy, I think this might be bulk. And then I went to the other side of the box. I think I saw a sleeve there. And then when I went through there yes. and then it was like a uh, spark elemental was the card in the sleeve, which is a common from fifth dawn. And then after that, it like went to battle for Zendikar. And I was like, and then there was even yeah. some Zendikar rising. And I was like, how the fuck did Zendikar rising get in there? <laughs> like, like, like where, when did he buy this storage unit? Was it like three days before you, you contacted? <laughs> like, cause how do you get cards that new in there? Like I was expecting, cause it was so bizarre. Like there's all these, like there was a couple old, older cards, like some Chronicles, some Ice Age and stuff, but it's like, yeah. then it was mixed. It was the most random. I, well, when you see the video, you, you'll, you'll hear me talk about it because I was like, this is the most bizarre random buy because I've never seen it like that where it's not broken down at all by like, uh, you know, because even your two uh, sleeves, those long boxes, they had sets kind of like, it'd be like this set for this much. Yeah. And then it was this set for this one. It was literally all over the place. I've never seen anything like that. It was like, a, okay. it was very bizarre. So mm. I'm, I'm assuming uh, that it could be one of those really unlucky. I maybe I got like the most unlucky sleeve there possible, but it, it, right. like it, to me, it looks like uns like if I was just like randomly had a stack of cards beside me and it was just, just it was just me, me just going through shit, yeah. trying to find value in something. I'm like, mm. oh fuck, I need a place to put this shit. <laughs> like, uh. I guess it, it was pretty. <laughs> yeah, when you see the video, you'll be like, oh my god. But um, <sighs> but you know what? It's I made a video out of it and I tried to make the video as enjoyable as possible. So it's not. Like it, at the end of the day, it's still content to me and it's fun. You know, you're not the whole point of random buys is I want to show people that, yes, sometimes you get some great random buys. Sometimes you, you get fabulous random buys where you like 10 extra money, but there is cases and there is times where you get host. So yeah. you need to really be careful when you are doing that. And um, 
Uh, another thing is always make sure that there's guaranteed value. I tell If I tell anyone one thing about random buys, always make sure there's at least a few things that, that are guaranteed value within any purchase because I, the likelihood of bulk I, happening is just too high. Right. No, what I will tell you, Matt, I, he did say that I can go through them with a fine tooth comb. I just can't take some from one and build a, another sleeve out of it. So yeah, what I did yeah, right, near the end right. of the day, I just started grabbing like a finger or two fingers full and just looking, flip, flip, flip. Okay, visions. Okay, that's old. You know, revised. Got it. Okay, and I just grabbed the box. You know, yeah, and that's that's yeah, how right, it went right. at the end of the day. And but he says I I could have taken as much time as I needed. I had already been at the flea market for three hours to find what I was looking for. Yeah, but yeah. I think I think next time I'm just gonna make a day of it, and who knows? Maybe I'll even make a video of it. Just to show yeah. like, hey, why I'm buying this particular box. It's you know? funny that like, cause you just found, you had a flea market buy and I had one like two weeks before that yes, uh, at a flea market, like 40 minutes away from, from uh, where I live. Mm -hmm. And this guy, I, I've been to his, his store years and years ago, probably like six years ago, if I take a guess, but I right. was going mostly from marvel legends because I'm, I'm a bit of an action figure collector as well uh, a yep. lot more before than i like now I, I still on occasion will buy them but it's very rare but before right. i was really into marvel legends like probably uh a little too much you know i was a little too into marvel <laughs> legends i, I think um, i downsized my collection a, a bit but i still have uh, a fair amount i think i have over like 150 marvel legends uh probably wow. at least 20 probably at least like 25 carded She's not that much, but it's a decent it's amount. Cool. I think I have at least like 15 build a figures. Yeah, I have, I have a decent collection. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's not bad. Like cool. Maybe one day if you, you come down to Toronto, uh, I'll, show you, <laughs> I'll show you my stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it. it's, uh, it was funny because I, I never went to that place since then. And then I, it just occurred to me one day, I was like, when I woke up in the morning, I was looking, looking for something to do because I was bored. And I had all the already finished like, doing a bunch of editing and I already had a pretty productive week and, and uh, I'm not one to relax. Like I'm kind of, I'm always on the edge. Like I need to do something. I'm, maybe it's ADHD. Yeah. And <laughs> I thought about that flea market and I was like, what the heck? Why did I not go to this flea market before? I remembered going to this flea market to buy Marvel Legends. And like maybe they'll have magic. Like why, why not? Yeah. Like, he seems Check, check it out. Yeah. Collectibles. And mm -hmm. I was so lucky that I did go there because he didn't actually have anything displayed. So I had to go right. up to him on the, at the counter and ask him about it. And he had all this stuff like behind the counter that was like in like big piles and stuff. And yeah, that was a really good uh, random buy. If anyone hasn't watched that, you guys have to watch my uh, flea market. That, buy. that was a, yeah, that was I one saw of the that best one. ones I've ever done. Yeah. yeah Cause even really later on good. when people are, were uh, commenting and they're, they're letting me know, Hey, this card at this time code, that's what's so helpful about the magic community and the people who watch amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that when they when I did mine, everybody did the same thing. I'm like, oh, I didn't even see that. This yeah. one was signed. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I yeah, saw yeah, it I saw that one too. I should have uh, yeah. did a time code thing there as well. I figured I was lazy. I figured someone else would do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was but, Jake uh, Johnson that pointed it out. Actually, yeah, he's got a good eye. He's got a good eye. Yeah, he's um he's one of the people who comments a lot on my channel as well. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's uh that was a great random buy. Still not the best when it comes to like the amount of value I spent versus how much I got. I, I've had some pretty good cheap random buys for like at a thrift store for like five bucks or something. And that turned into like 40 or 50, which is a pretty right. good like return on, on the, on your money. But either way, I, I just, I love doing random buy videos. Honestly, if there was a day where I just stopped doing market mover videos, uh, <laughs> I would just transition into random buys. I, I would crumble. Like, the it, would, it would just, I would yeah, just I know. Stop. But die. like a part of me is like, I love doing thrift store hunting. I love doing random buys. I love going to flea markets, mm -hmm. but also like box openings, but the box openings on the channel don't perform as well. Uh, and you know, you got to listen to what YouTube tells you, like, right. If YouTube is like, Hey, um, market movers do well. Okay. I got to do market movers. Hey, uh, the random buys do well. Okay. I got to make sure I'm hunting for more random buys. The thrift store yep. videos do well. I got to do that. And I put out another video and it's like, it's like silence. And YouTube's like, no, no, no. We're going to put you in a corner now. Don't do that. <laughs> like when I, like, ever, like when ever I did, again. exactly. Like when I, when I did those videos where I was frustrated about PayPal and how like yep. PayPal locked me out of my account, I noticed I did oh. like two of those videos in one week and man, like my views dropped off. Like it was almost like YouTube purposely. I didn't uh, show my videos to the subscribers for like next week and a half. Cause they were like down by 30 to 40% on average. And I was like, that's yes. odd. And then thank God I had that random buy that came up after that. Cause that's what brought my channel back up. Cause I had a, a yes. scheduled beforehand anyways. 
but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's um, you really got to listen to what YouTube tells you with your videos. No, 100%. I mean, and we, and, you know, we've talked about, uh, uh, you know, Goodwill and the thrift stores, uh, you know, down this way. And even those are like very tough to get. I mean, mm. you, know, you can, you can set yourself a maximum of what you're going to spend on it. And before the bid is even up, it's already gone past that max, what you want to spend. Yeah. And you, you, it's almost like you have to overdrive just to get that kind of thing. So having the opportunity to do what I did was, was awesome. I wish I could have better results for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I will right. hopefully get, you know, take care of that down the road. No, but, no, uh, well, it was still fun to open up again. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. My first, the first one I opened up was, it was, I, I, I didn't get more than $25. I mean, just based upon condition of, of the cards, uh, it, they were really, really in tough shape, uh, all of them, but they were old as dirt. And, but it, you know, it was just, it was just a thrill of going through it. Like, okay, maybe there is something in here. Maybe, you know, and then finally, on the, th on the third one, we, we hit unlimited. Mm -hmm. So like that was, it was all commons, but it's still unlimited. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I'm chomping at the bit to see the backside of, of, of that one for, for damn sure. Um, yeah, that one was insane. That one was, that's why I was so thrilled to open up mine, but uh, it was, <laughs> but either way, that was, still like, you, Matt. no, failed you. that was honestly, that was a fantastic opening. Yeah. That was one of the best random buys I think I've ever seen for 40 bucks. That was insane. Like if that mm -hmm. video was on my channel, it probably like it still did well on your channel, did really well. But if that video yes. was on my channel, it would have gotten like probably twenty thousand views within a, within a week. Like that's how oh, crazy. 100%. Yeah, that's how yep. crazy that was. Um, it, it, well, it's funny that the, the the garbage box that I opened up out of the two, that's the one that got two thousand views for me. Yeah, that and, one I shared on my community tab. That's why. Yeah, I, I and, probably should have shared the other one too, but I, because it was so good, I was like. Oh, this is going to get views regardless. It's going to get views. Yeah. yeah. And it did. No, it got a lot. It's just, uh, but I was like, oh my God, people want, really like watch, like almost like pickers. You know, they, they love seeing that like that. Oh yeah. It's funny. That, that on that tree, like you, you pull a mox or something like that. Imagine that pulling a mox out of one of those. Oh like, yeah. That'd be insane. That'd be I insane. would drop trial, at, at take a flea market. The table and, yeah. Oh my God. It would be awesome. The, um, it it's funny that you mentioned that because. So I actually, uh, I've already filmed and edited two videos for a new channel that I'm going to be releasing uh, soon. I don't know when I'm going to drop the channel because I want to make sure I have enough content out there before like, I make it all public. Okay. But it's called Matt Cart. Uh, people, if they search it, they're not going to find it because it's not public yet. But mm -hmm. it's, um, so it's essentially, because you said pickers. So it's basically me and my wife going to thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, and hunting for collectibles or things that we could flip locally or flip on eBay. So the okay. whole, yeah. So the whole channel is, is very, cause we, I just went through this like phase where I, I was watching so many garage sale videos, so many thrift store videos. And I was like, man, I, I already kind of do this. Yeah. With the, the Matt Casim a channel a bit. Uh, but I'm only like, I'm, basically just focusing on one collectible which is magic cards and i mean i have other hobbies that are collectible as well not just magic um and there is like a massive market out there and a lot of this channel is going to be about discovering markets like for, for mm -hmm. one instance one of the the buys that i do in the video at a garage sale, i don't want to it's it's partially spoiling but like yeah, when yeah. people see this video they'll be like oh, okay i see what you're talking about but so one of the things we talk about collectibles that you don't realize is worth like a lot of money. And I didn't really realize this at all. I, I had a, right. an idea because there was some, some of my friends kind of collected a bit of it, but I always thought it was kind of lame, but uh, not, not lame anymore. Uh, Lego. Holy crap. Lego. Mm. Yeah. I'm talking like just, you can buy like a big bulk thing of Lego. If it's got a few characters in there, they right. resell for quite a lot of money. I didn't realize that huh. Lego was such a big draw. So now I'm, I'm, so yeah. So now when I'm going to uh, thrift stores or garage sales, I'll be looking at, at Lego because one of the buys I did was for Lego and it was very, very profitable, like really, mm. really profitable. I think I like 20 X my money on it uh, at this point. Wow. Yeah. So That's like, a lot. yeah. So like uh, I'm basically hunting for video games, like Lego magic cards. If I see them, Pokemon cards, right. uh, action figures, and then other things that like I could flip 
for profit that I can use towards buying more collectibles. So it's like I want the channel to be like this self-sustaining thing where I, I make yeah. some money on it, but yeah. I also buy and sell, and then I use that money again to just to, to reinvest it into going. the show to do it. Yeah. Again. yeah. So that's yeah, kind of like a, that's going to be the theme of the channel. So um, that's cool, man. I hope people. Yeah. So like, I'm right now. I'm getting really passionate about it because I think that it's a good educational tool because there's a lot of people who don't understand that uh, there is, there is a marketplace for everything. And yes. really, if you're willing for to do the work, sure. put the time in and be productive, you can actually basically make money from nothing, but you just got to be smart and you got to be hunting and you got to have a good eye, you know? And, yes. and, and guess what? Like that could eventually be better than that minimum wage job someone has who's watching the <laughs> channel, right? Like, yeah, like it's a good way to teach people. True story. Hey, this, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like minimum yeah. wage or work for yourself, like flipping and hunting collectibles, you know, it's, it, it, that's it's, definitely, it, to be. it's definitely a risk, but if, you know, especially the young you are, you know, if you got time to exactly. you know, do that stuff. You know, that's what it yeah. Is. It, it, Cause it, you don't get it, much time when you're older. Luckily, no, like working don't. from home is what really gave me so much more time to invest in these things. If I was Shit. still working like at the office, commuting to the office, we'll and I don't even know if we'll I would have been able to get the the Magic Card yeah. channel. Not a lot, not let alone like go do a whole other channel on the side. I would yeah. never be able to get to where because at that time I already had another channel that I, that I had that was doing okay. It was a food channel, but you know, once a lockdown happened, I pretty much, I had so much time, right? Like that was, it was like, I worked, but also you had to commute and all these, that was like an extra hour and a half every day. Then I'd spend time with the food channel. And then once right. things were locked down, you couldn't go out and eat, uh, you know, that was it. And I was like, well, I, I have all this extra time and there's only so much masturbatory things you could do in a day. So uh, yep. I, I just basically yep. was like, well, I guess I have to just start d doubling down on the magic channel. And the market movers was the thing that I could do daily. Uh, that I could never do because I'd have to wake up excessively early. Like if I had to yes. still go to the office and I was trying to do the Mark Mover videos on a you regular, I would have to wake up at four thirty in the morning every every morning to do it, you, research, put out the video, and then go to work. I, I would be yeah. dead. I would come home and I'd be a zombie every day. Either that, or your, or your Mark Movers would be half-assed and your work would be half-assed. Like you can't, yeah. you can't do. You, you have to kind of. Yeah. You need time to invest in each of them. For My for goal sure. is eventually if, if I can make enough revenue from all, all my sources, uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, affiliate links, Patreon, and then AdSense, Word, if I can make enough math. on that from just the magic channel and from the new channel I'm creating, right. then I will probably eventually quit my job because right now I don't know what the future of this, this company is anyways. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, I'm not going to state the name of the company. I don't know how long they're going to be around. I don't know if, the company yeah. will go under like i'm looking at the stock market the stock market has been very volatile ever since the beginning of the pandemic i don't mm -hmm. know if a lot of it's just like on life support who knows but what i do know is uh i i enjoy making the content on my channel and i enjoy the new channel that i'm 100 mm -hmm. yeah no one no and, and matt you know what and you're i know you probably don't feel it but you're still very young what are you, you're 33 i think you said 33 yeah 33. Yeah. That's, I, oh my God, I killed to be 33 again. Like it, it I killed really, to be 23 it, again. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going 10 years you younger. Do you, you think they would age, kill though? Like... I don't think a 23 year old would kill to be 13 again though. I, yeah, if we're I going down 10 years at a time, I don't think so. That would be... I don't think a 23 year old realizes how good he or she has. It. Like oh, 23 is insane. Oh. Like when I go back to thinking about when I was 23 and how I thought like life was over, I was sitting there listening to the yeah, Cure, 100%. listening yeah. to the Smiths, and, yep, and now yep. you know I still do listen to those bands, but like I, I was such a mopey little emo kid when I was in my yeah. early 20s. It was insane. <laughs> like I acted like oh like the world's unfair and and yeah, uh, yeah that's yeah. true. But it's it if I would have actually invested in myself properly at that time, I would be oh you'd be a millionaire. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. insane. Yeah. Or in your way too. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I just yeah. hate the way that is. Well, it's, it's, the, it's the old, uh, the old proverb or, or was the old saying is uh youth is wasted on the young. Yeah. You know, it's true story. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And, uh, so I get, a little, I get something chirping right beside me. I don't know what it is, but no, no I'm right. around. yeah, it's just a bear just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Oh, well, no. are you, how far out? Like, cause you live in Massachusetts, right? I do. Yeah. So no, I'm a, I, I live in a residential neighborhood. So, but okay. uh, are you I, close you know, to Boston though? Uh, about 35 miles out, but we also have a, a commuter rail that's can get you into Boston in 25 minutes. Oh, nice. So, oh, nice. 
Yeah. Do you in, like in Boston? Boston? I like visiting Boston. I don't, right. I would not want to live. Why? In Boston. Uh, Too busy? Uh, yeah, atmosphere. It's, atmosphere. It, don't get me wrong. Boston is a, it's, Boston is one of the weirdest cities in, in, in the world that it, it's like you have so many different, um, what's, I, I like, you know, it's a diverse culture for sure, but there's, there's just the, I'll go with this. I'm going to just say it, the political attitude, I don't really care for. And, I, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't care for it, but, um, but people from Massachusetts in the Boston area, we, you know, there was a lot of pride there. There, there really is. Um, and we, we fought ourselves on heritage. You know, I mean, I still, I still, I still walk the freedom trail two or three times a year and I go right out to Concord, which used to be right outside where I work. And I'll, you know, when I would actually jog five to six miles right on the freedom trail and they'd have little stops, you know, going in so that, you know, all, all, like, all around there. Mm-hmm. but it was, we are such a, you know, this is where it all started it, 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 for America. And it's crazy to think about that. You go to certain places in mm-hmm. Boston, literally a mile away, which takes you a half hour to get there by car. Yeah. Because you can't travel in the city. It's just too congested. That's another reason why I don't like it. Oh, come to Toronto. But, You'll see real congestion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we got your beat, bro. Uh, it's, it's, I don't, <laughs> oof, I don't know. Toronto. Yeah. You have to remember, it's Ontario is like the, the capital of Canada, and we yes. basically got one yeah. city, and that's Toronto. So you have all that congestion with one city. I mean, yes, we have Ottawa, but Ottawa is like, mm, it's not really much. Like right. Toronto is so big that we create sub-cities just from the city growing out. Like there's right. like like cities that should have, be, have no right to be called cities will be like cities now because of <laughs> Toronto, like Brampton, you know, uh, Mississauga. Well, Mississauga is has a, grow, a big population, but there's no real downtown or anything. There's, it's just right. a bunch of houses and, and, and strip malls, but it's Toronto just keeps growing out, growing out. And it's just, mm-hmm. it's just like this, um, this glob of, of, of just, just people and, and, and bureaucratic, uh, bureaucrat, yeah, bureaucratic blob that just can, kind of keeps growing out. <laughs> but, um, but, but I went Wait. to Boston once okay. and, and I, uh, it was a trip that I, I, uh, I made in 2014 I believe okay. it was, it might've been 20, yeah, 2014. And I went to New York city to visit my sister, but I also wanted to go to some other cities as well. So I went yep. to Philadelphia, which is also one of the oldest cities in, in, uh, in America. Uh, I like Philadelphia as well, by the way, you made like a little thing. What was that? You don't like Philadelphia? What's going on? Uh, I, I like Philadelphia. Okay. Right. Yeah, the people there yeah. I really don't care for. Oh, the people really? there, eh? Why? What's wrong with the people? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know much. I these just are the like people the people that threw they, they threw snowballs and ice balls and batteries at Santa Claus. <laughs> the Philadelphia uh, Eagles fans, you got to look that one up, man. They are hardcore, man. They're these hardcore. Hardy, yeah, they're Oof. hardy people, man. Well, they don't like maybe I, I've never experienced know. the sports side of Philadelphia, so maybe that's what it oh, is. Oh, they, they but, are very devoted to their teams for sure. Well, same as Boston, though. If it, but there's actually yeah. a lot of similarities, but and that's that's why I brought yeah. it up because I went to Boston as well, and I saw a lot of similarities between Philadelphia and Boston. Uh, the mm-hmm. the fact that they both really love their sports, like hardcore dedication 100%. to their sports, but yeah. also there's like a, a real a patriotism for the city. That was there yes. that in New York City they don't really have that quite the same way as Philadelphia and um and Boston has. And they're both very yeah. old. They're both like they um yeah. they're like you know founding fathers like cities, you know, like they're very, very mm-hmm. old and and um interesting. Interesting place to visit. I'm hoping yeah, I have yeah, a chance sure. to visit them one day again in the future. Um yeah. uh, especially now that like uh I, like well if I let's say if I went to like Boston, I'd probably visit you or something like that. Uh, we hang out or whatever. Uh, yeah, I would bring in all the good food places. That's, that's yeah, what bring I would all, do. in Boston. So you know, all in the, Bo- oh yeah, the North End, yeah. man. That's that, that's uh, that's Spaghettiville. That's 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 Oof. where my people came from. There you go. Yeah, and there's North a lot of End. Italians in uh the Italian market in Philadelphia as well. Lots of Italians there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And same in New York. I actually in and out of the Bronx. There's, there's still ah, there's still forget, forget about them. Forget about it. <laughs> forget about them. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, uh, it's it's weird how like it's it's all it's Italian uh irish german in each one of those cities and they kind of just brought a uh, kind of bulge out from there for the most part yeah. i know there's a big german population as well in philadelphia yes uh, there is yeah. yep yeah the uh actually uh, ours is uh, uh grossed out we you know we have a 
uh, a big um, Latin population uh, in on the east side of Boston and mm. uh, just south of there in, in uh, Chelsea. So like that's like and the food there is amazing. Like the, their the food is so yeah. good. Oh, like, oh, New York has really good Spanish food and, and uh, Mexican food oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. good. New York, yeah, best pizza in the world. It doesn't matter. You can go to any dump of a yep. hole in the wall. Yep. And uh, I. Oh. It's see, it's funny. We were going to talk magic. Now we're talking food. And honest, <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? Uh, they got food tokens now in magic. So we can talk about food all we want. Um, <laughs> so when it comes to pizza, and this is something mm-hmm. I was trying, I, I can't reiterate more as people who live in Toronto. If there's anyone in Canada who are watching uh, a dollar slice of pizza in New York city is better than any pizza place in Toronto. Pretty much. I mean, like you know why maybe, that is? But maybe not every place, but majority of places in Toronto. There's, there's a reason for that. So I do have, I do know the answer to this. It has to do with the water. The water is, is there's a, um, has lead in it. What's that? Has has lead lead in it. It. No, that's in people's heads. The old, the old pipes, right? The lead, it, it kind of adds <laughs> to the pizza dough. Makes it nice and chewy. Uh, it, it's, it's mineral rich. So it does something to the dough. Wait, just, in New York City is mineral rich? In New York City, yeah. Yeah, the, in, in, in that area, New Jersey, New York, any pizza places, the dough is so good from the mineral Jeez. rich water. It makes the pizza just taste phenomenal. So, and I always used to wonder the same thing. I'm like, we have more Italians up here in Massachusetts than we do down in New York. Scene why is it not the same? Yeah, why is, the, why is our pizza suck compared to theirs? You know, like I, I went down there and I had the first slice. I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. What, what is this? You know, it was, uh, and you know what's even more interesting about that is that you're saying it's the dough, but the dough is so small, like it's like it's thin, thin. it's it's thin, but mm-hmm. it's like it's it's foldable and stuff. It's nice. Like it's got like yeah. a nice uh, texture to it. It's chewy yeah. and everything versus like the dough in Canada. It's like they just dough it like it's so much dough. Oh, do a deep deep it's, pan? It's, no, but it's not really a deep pan. It's just crap pan. I would call it. It's just, just <laughs> it's just a lot, it's just a lot of dough for mm-hmm. no reason. And but, it's just like, why, why, if I wanted to eat bread with sauce, I would just do it at home. I wouldn't go to a pizza place. It's disgusting. Right, right. But oh. um, yeah, the, the uh, New York City, I, I, a part of me is upset that my sister moved back to Toronto. It's nice that she's, she's closer to me now so we can hang out more. But at the same right. time, it's like, I kind of wish she stayed in New York City just for like the pizza, you know? I come down and, there, like, yep. hey, how's it going? Anyways, where's the pizza place? Let's, uh, can we go there next? <laughs> <laughs> there's something, there's something always to do down there yeah it is new york's awesome yeah it is, it is fun. it's fun to visit fun to visit yeah, it's fun to visit oh. philadelphia i liked this well because i liked how like cheap it was like new york city yep. there are some cheap places but philadelphia the majority of places it's like uh can I have a yingling yinling or whatever that the beer it's like all right yep, two, yep. it's like yep. two bucks for a bottle i'm like get out yep get out like in toronto you won't find anything for like for a bottle of beer for anything under 550 like you won't find yeah. that anywhere in toronto like in toronto that's on new york average, yeah, an average pint of beer in Toronto is eight dollars, eight to nine dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, Toronto, it's insane. And it's for someone like me, you know, and I like my pints. You know? Yes, you do. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy a pint every once in a while. That's why you always drink it in your basement. It's a lot cheaper. It's yeah. true. Uh, I might just yeah. turn this into a bar and invite people over. <laughs> yeah, just uh i'll be like i'll be like hey you guys want to buy some magic cards actually i would never sell my magic cards but i'd be like hey you guys want to play magic there you go play some magic here i got one table enjoy i i always look down there i, I don't i mean how big is that area like, i um it's if it was a bedroom it'd be a decent sized bedroom so okay. i got like my uh i got my green screen kind of photography a sheet gotcha. there i got a, a table that i use mostly just to set up the tripod if i'm filming over there um right. or like you know i i sometimes will do a video for my other channel in front of this uh this backdrop there but um yeah and this is all just like basically yep. action figures and magic cards and and just shipping boxes and i got a drum set there another display there if i want to do